This is the man who pulled off the only successful skyjacking in U.S. history. D.B. Cooper hijacked a Northwest Orient Airline 727 Thanksgiving Eve of 1971. He parachuted out the back door at 8.11 p.m. Hundreds of troops combed the woods near Woodland and east to the town of Ariel. The search for Cooper and his $200,000 went on for weeks, but nobody really knew where he bailed out, where he landed, or even if he survived. The first hard evidence that he jumped out there was found by a hunter in the woods, part of the exit sign from the door of the aircraft. The Cooper mystery and legend have not died with time. The tale still rolls through these hills, and the rumors persist. Did a fisherman really pull a parachute shroud line out of Lake Merwin, then lose it? A two-man submarine search turned up nothing. Then the Dwayne Ingram family entered the picture last February. I was going to build a fire, and I had some wood in my arm, and I got ready to set it down, and my son ran up and said, wait a minute, Daddy. So he raked uh, a place out in the sand there, and there it was. It kind of tumbled up on the top. What his young son found was part of Cooper's loot, badly decomposed in bundles, still in the same order when packed nine years ago. The beach is five miles northwest of Vancouver. The Army Corps of Engineers had dredged the Columbia River here in 1974. The loot had been on the bottom, washed downstream over a three and a half year period, and now on shore where FBI agents combed the sand like archaeologists. All they found was $5,800 and no sign of D.B. Cooper. But in the town of Ariel, the people are sure he's still alive. But a lot of them still think he landed in this area somewhere and made his way towards the Columbia somehow. For all we know, he's been here, you know, walked in, had a beer and walked out just to see what the place was like. The town of Ariel comes alive Saturday with its annual D.B. Cooper party, complete with buffalo stew. They hope this year he'll come out of hiding, if he's still alive, and join in the fun. Brooks Burford, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.